Welcome back to 7 News Live at 5. Well, now that Halloween has come and gone, you might be wondering what to do with all your leftover pumpkins. How many pumpkins you got? 7 News reporter Laura Thomas shows us one idea you might not have thought of. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the way. The pumpkin smashing means it's time to eat. <laughs> at Whispering Pines Farm, Dairy, and Cheesery in Malden, the Halloween treats for the sheep come after the holiday. The ones with uh, orange noses, you know, those are the ones that really like it. I think that's Nikki. She really likes it. Debbie Webster discovered the health benefits last year. That pumpkins were actually a great source of vitamins and potassium for them. It also helps them uh, to get rid of uh, any kind of internal parasites and stuff. And plus, they love it. They put the call out on Facebook, and a church donated several pumpkins to them. They say they'll accept them as long as they don't have any wax inside or paint. You know, instead of throwing it in some landfill, just give it to some animals, and, and, and when animals eat it, then it'll end up going back to the ground and giving nutrients to the ground, and it's a great cycle that's, uh, that's less wasteful than, than other ways. These sheep have another holiday to look forward to. Turns out the farm also accepts Christmas trees. They'll eat the Christmas trees, the needles, the bark, and everything. So who knew, right? <laughs> In Malden, Laura Thomas, 7 News. Did not know that. Uh, they, they also ask that the pumpkins aren't rotten if you're going to give them to a local farm. Yeah, and if you have a bunch of leftover candy, some local dentist offices are sending that to soldiers overseas. Also check with their school's PTA or church to see if they're accepting the candy. The